What's up guys? So we're gonna do some shard pulling today for the fusion Nani? and I'm gonna talk about the fusion probably in a couple days I'll make a separate video about it. I will approach this from very different angle than you might expect. I'm going for the fusion but for different reason. Anyway but um so we do have the fusion event right now. I did skip the one on the weekend. Let me actually weekly show it to you. So Larium kind of maybe promised. I was expecting more to be honest, but here is basically the fusion schedule. And as you can see, you have the normal fragments that you can get. And then there was this extra special summoning event, which is up right now and was from Tuesday to Thursday. And not only can you get 50 fragments from this summoning event instead of the typical 25, but it also said here that during this special Shaman Rush event, you can also earn 100% more event points than usual when summoning champions from Ancient and Primal shard, Shards. And that's basically why I kind of wanted to pull on this event even though we didn't know what champions were gonna be on it. On weekend there was another fairly good event, I mean it wasn't during two acts for legendaries, but you did have the same increased chance event for like Rotos, Wukong and some other ones, I mean they were basically good nukers, all of them. And I kind of want to get them up, but to be honest, out of the non-void champions or non-voids and non-primals, what is really relevant in the meta? Actually, Wukong and Rotos are some of the better ones, but not like it's massive priority to have them at plus four. Outside of those, definitely the best pool is gonna be Arima, and basically, apart from like Rotos and Wukong, the other good ones are Arima. Armands and then Ankara. I think those are pretty much gonna be the main non voids from. Yeah, main non voids and non primals. Maybe Ragas too, but Ragas is a bit below the other ones, though it can be situationally great. But we didn't know what, what shard event was gonna be during this special extra points and extra fragments event. So I kind of took a gamble. I was hoping it would be 1 plus 1 or something extra special, but if it's like Rotos or Wukong 15x compared to Armands, it's pretty much equal. Even though getting plus for Rotos has been a lifelong dream for me in Raid, something that I wanted to get for years, but right now with White King Narses and Harima and even stuff like UDK and our base existing in the game, I don't think Rotos is sadly ever gonna be top meta. I haven't been using it even in classic arena defense for a while. That while I don't really have like Taras or stuff like that. Obviously still great in live arena, but super counterable. You can't pick it blindly in every single battle. If you do you're gonna regret it. I still like my Rotos, he's great, but he's not like uh, he's not my ticket to getting getting the trophy. That that was really I always thought that Getting plus 4 Rotos is my best way to get rank 1 trophy. That's literally it. And at this point, he's not. I don't think he ever ever will be. And honestly, getting plus 2 Armands might actually... Or not actually. Right now, it would definitely be better to have that than get plus 4 Rotos. In either way, I'd rather have Harima, to be honest. But that's why we're pulling on this event. We couldn't predict that this was going to be with Armands, but Armands is great, we're happy with that. The main reason I'm doing it is that we get 50 fragments instead of 25, so it's possible to skip like not just one event, but two events if you're going for the fusion. And... Oh yeah, there it is. Not only do we get 50 instead of uh, 25, but also, the cutoff isn't that much higher. It's like 4.5k. I think normally it's like 3.6k. So I think it's like 
only 1k more points for 25 or double the fragments. And also, like I just read from the Discord, we're getting double points from the Ancient Shard uh, shards compared to normal. Now it's only 40, I guess normally it's 20. It's still barely in comparison to the other ones. And I guess if they did gave double points for Sacreds, that would be a massive increase. Now, okay, they did give double points for Primals, but I'm obviously not pulling them. I don't recommend you guys to do that either. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna pull all of my Ancients and then couple of Sacreds, and then we're gonna call it a day. Anyway, let's see what we get. I think I cleansed my inventory so that I should have enough space for this. But yeah, if you guys are going for the f fusion or just the fragments for the fusion, maybe for like mod, this event is definitely the way to go. Obviously, we're gonna have another summoning event that is gonna be almost certainly with two racks, so I'm gonna pull for that as well. But this one is pretty good, we're gonna go for it. Anyway, let's, let's see what we get. As I said, I want to get Harima and Armands, and that's really my priorities. I will, wouldn't mind getting Angoras though. Good luck for you guys, good luck for me. Let's see what we, <laughs> what we get today. No idea if I'm at the PT range, I don't think so, but it's so tedious to keep track of it. Y you can see the PT counter in game, and Aracel Helper is always down. I know some people do it, I mean, all you need to do is just type it down, but it's too, <laughs> too tedious and I forget to do it, so it's a mystery for me, but I don't think we're at the PT. Oh, we got the... Okay, Ray, I don't care about that. The, the one issue here, by the way, which I would caution, but I already thought about it beforehand and still decided to go for this. But obviously, the increased chance event with Sacreds and Ancients is not shared, so we're not gonna get that with Sacreds. I'm still gonna pull both of them, just because we can get the extra points from Ancients compared to normal, but you could just pull one of them. I mean, if you had a lot of Ancients, I would just pull, pull them instead of Sacreds, but you could also just go with Sacreds to have a higher, higher counter on this, but like I said, even if I happen to get one extra Armands, I don't think it's that big deal, to be honest. If we get two, then it's plus 10 speed, that would be huge, but just getting one Armands doesn't, doesn't do anything for me, I would much rather get the Harima. I wish it was Harima, Harima 15 next, but even if it is, the chances of actually getting that specific champion is not very high. But hey, we, we got a ray. I, I don't know if that was a faction guardians upgrade or not. It may even actually be. I don't think I have my faction guardians maxed on dark elves, but maybe I have to double check. Come on, let's see Harima. <laughs> For once, I wouldn't mind just getting really close luck, but that's what everybody's always wishing for, and you can't get it, or I mean, you can get it, but you can't count on it, and at this point, I don't really take shard pulls too seriously. I don't get disappointed because <laughs> I, if I did, I would get disappointed every time and it's not the way to go. Okay, I guess we didn't get a second one from Ancients, but to be fair, we got one legendary with 56, which is way more than we should get on average, so can't complain about that. May have been pity pull, I have. I have no idea. How many do we need to pull more? I guess uh, five more? Four more and if I pull like something else like mystery shards, but we're just gonna do five, I think. That's gonna be it. We're gonna be like 200 points higher, that, but it's not that big deal. 
so so yeah we, we got one champion we got to the 20 axe but it's not gonna apply here i wish it would apply to all of the shards but i'm sure this is just one of those parium calculations how they're gonna finesse people and make most money i mean it, it's not like they are gonna change it's just because we ask so it is what it is but come on just give me harima why not i mean half the players in the game wouldn't even care about harima and of course they are gonna get it and i'm gonna get something that they want just give me harima give, give the pv champions to somebody else I would be so happy if I got Harima. Oh, I thought I didn't have to make room. I, I guess we do. Only couple. Okay, we're just gonna eat those last. Not like I need 3 star champions. I have plenty of chickens. Maybe not a lot of 3 star stars because I tend to use them, but I have endless amount of 5 star and I'm never gonna use them. Was it 3 more pulls? Uh, no, way more. Five pulls? Wait, did I calculate it wrong? I guess I did. Yeah, we're gonna need five. No, not five more pulls. It's 4.5k, not 5.5k. Okay. Okay, why did I make it that complicated? Okay, three more pulls, then we will double check. Arima? No? Come on, let, let's get one more legendary at least. One more faction guardians upgrade on maybe Night Revenant or something like that. I'm two out of ten on Night Revenant. I really want to get one more. Come on. No, okay. I think that's the last one. I... I'm definitely not gonna pull more than we need to. Yeah, that, that's enough. We're gonna save those 14 secrets for 2x7, but I will be happy with those 50, 50 fragments. I'm gonna make another video about it later on. I mean, like, uh, spoiler alert, I'm not actually going for, for the fusion. <laughs> I'm going for a different fusion. It's gonna be this one, but... I'll make a video about it in a couple days. Not gonna do it today, I think... Yeah, to today I have live arena and this... To tomorrow I think I have another video. Maybe on like Saturday, either tomorrow or Saturday. I'll, <laughs> I'll make a video about mod, but... Spoiler alert, I'm not actually going for the fusion, I'm going for mod. I'm at 81, I might get it after this fusion or I might be a couple off. It totally depends on my RNG, but... Let's see if we got the Faction Guardians upgrade or not. Oh, I am already maxed here. But, okay, so... Wait, it was my first ray. I could have sworn I had a ray. I guess, okay, it's, it was my first one. Okay, we never raid. <laughs> I guess Wu can count these random B tier champions. I mean, ray isn't the worst. I mean, it's almost okay. Not in the current meta, but... She has a buff strip and a freeze on one skill, it's not that bad. And then she has double AoE, I mean, triple AoE, triple AoE. I remember um, Tyraku, shout out to him, like a much bigger content creator in Raid than me. Tyraku likes to use Ray, at least he used to. I don't know if he uses, uses it nowadays, but it used to be his, one of his favorite champions back in the day. And he was not just using it in live arena, but classic arena as well. Maybe I could, maybe I could try Ray in live arena. I'm probably gonna be disappointed. But to be honest, she does have only AOE nukes and free. Sometimes she could be very useful. But then again, we're gonna get Mario soon, and Mario's is gonna do the same thing with uh, also buff strip. But his buff strip has three chances to go through stone skin and doesn't get him polymorphed. And he does a lot of other utility for your team with the enfeeble and the defense buff. And his defense scaling, so yeah, probably I'm not gonna even bother leveling up Ray. I guess he 
she could be your campaign farmer, but I have my trusty old, um, what's even his name? Why can't, oh, Fellhound, yeah, Fellhound. Trusty old Fellhound, kind of interesting champion. <laughs> Almost should make a video about Fellhound just as a meme, but I'm sure there's plenty of, like, five-year-old guides about him, but... Fellhound scales with both defense and attack, not incredibly, but scales with both of them. It's actually very easy to get enough damage on Fellhound to <laughs> farm campaign. Let me show you my Fellhound gear. I'm pretty sure my Fellhound has, like, gear from five years ago. Yeah, it's like that. It's not even glooped. Oh, he does have accessories glooped. I wonder... Maybe I... I wonder why did I even gloop his gear at some point? Maybe I took some of his gear, or maybe I went back to gloop him, but I'm pretty sure my Fellhound had the same gear even before gloops were a thing in the game. Pretty sure I was already using him before the faction wars. But yeah, you, you can get away with very crappy gear on Hellhound and do it. This is... Yeah, we have crit rate class and everything. This is not like... This is not the best that my account can offer. And... Actually, maybe the shield could be okay if we can get the speed roll. It's not even maxed and he scales from defense. That's how low requirements the gear has. But I probably would sell everything else except maybe... Maybe I would level up this shield to 16, but we don't even need it. Actually, scratch that. Um, we have the artifact enhancement event right now. Not like I'm using a lot of savage, but let's see if we can get speed. If I can get speed, maybe I could consider using this on another champion and steal it, stealing it from Fellhound. Okay, no speed. Anyway, let, let me show you. It, it works, I mean... You know, I'm, I'm sure nobody watching this video didn't know about Failhound, but yeah. Why go for for a when Failhound is this good? Actually, let's not do normal. Let's do one one Brutal. I mean, it can do Nightmare, obviously. For Nightmare, you would need something else. I'm pretty sure even if I put my... I haven't double-checked, but I'm almost certain that if I put my best gear on him, I'm not gonna be able to farm Nightmare, but Nightmare isn't really something that people usually farm. And to be honest, me me personally, I don't really farm campaign at all. The only two situations where I might farm it is for the monthly quest, where you need 500 campaign battles. And the other, other reason, basically the only practical reason, or I do them both at once, but if there is a fusion dungeon divers and I don't need to farm like Ice Golem or something like that at the same time, which I don't right now, but I need to farm farm mutic items for Mario's missions, so I'm not gonna do it, but th this is the best time to farm campaign. That's the only time I might do it, but normally <laughs> Normally I would never even touch my Fellhound or the campaign. Anyway, this wasn't a Fellhound. <laughs> Fellhound guide or Fellhound shield video. I think the Ray is just gonna go to trash bin. No, not only it wasn't a duel, but I actually did have Dark Elves maxed out. I don't have too many Faction Guardians, to be honest, maxed out. I guess are Undead and Dark Elves the only two. No, Banner Lords, Undead and Dark Elves, and I almost have it for Demon Spawn. I would have it, but I had my Dratus empowered, and it was worth it to, to even lose the 10 speed for that one I, I, back in those days. Not anymore, since Dratus is trash with the release of Narsus, but anyway, I'm not too worried. I don't really use a lot of Demon Spawn anymore. Rarely Dratus and Helicat, but not like every battle and i'm sure i'll get it maxed at some point but only have four those four factions demon spawn undead dark elves and banner lords could get easy extra 10 speed on barbarians if i could just get one there but on night revenants which of course i want to get it there i'm not even close i'm 
I'm 2 out of 10. Not only do I not get the 10 speed, but I don't even get like attack or anything else. Could really use all of those stats on my Narcissus and Angora. My Narcissus is kind of fast. I mean, he's 251 speed, but he doesn't even have like Blessing or the Faction Guardians. N never mind like Empowerment, but let's say I had Blessing and Faction Guardians, then I could be like. 276 speed. That would be pretty fast. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys get 15 harimas from from your from your shard pulling for the fusion. That's it. Have a nice day. See ya.